everybody! Pop up blue shirt here going out on a crazy day. It's about 45, 50 mile an hour winds today. <laughs> so we're gonna really see if this mic works today. Uh, yeah, and I'm behind on my time. I, I uh, spent all morning editing and stuff and the time got, and the time got away from me, so man. But let's get going on our ride. There's where we're starting, 13,219. And for good time's sake, I thought I'd wear these goggles today because it's a little bit overcast and those other ones are a little bit dark and these kind of brighten everything up. So, all right, let's get going. Yeah, it is really windy out here. I have to lean into it because it's a crosswind right now and uh, pretty strong. But I've been out in 65 mile an hour wind, so it just slows you down. Slows Papa down a little bit, but not too bad. <laughs> well, since it's so late, I'm gonna go over and do some hill climbing tests and ride in the bottoms where it's not so windy. Cause it's windy. <laughs> I guess the key word for today is gonna be windy. Windy. Yep, my mama thought I was so bright she called me Sunny. <laughs> Woo. Of course, doing a hill climbing test on a windy day is probably not the best thing, but maybe be down there where the wind's not so bad. Because man, it blows me all over the place down here. Well, we'll get some data for you here. GPS data on the hills here. Like I said, it's windy today, so probably not going to be real accurate, but looking for an excuse to stay out of the wind. Down in these bottoms, the wind's not as bad. But you can see here, this is a really steep hill. This is the steepest hill in our area. I call it Big Bertha. I think if it was straight there, I could get up to probably get up to 40 miles an hour if I just, if I coasted. But I can't, I gotta apply the brakes because it's got a nice hairpin turn at the bottom. I'm trying to get my phone inside here so it's not going up and down. So we get a better reading on the Incline and stuff. There we go. Make sure we're still recording. Yep. Don't want to lose it. This is where I lost my phone the first time I bought this bike. I was pedaling so fast and having so much fun that my phone hopped out of my pocket. And it was almost dead, so I didn't know. I had to hurry back and, and, uh, try to find it and this was the last place I looked at it so I figured it was between here and where I was at the time and uh, so I made a beeline and I come down here and I just turned around down there and I was just about ready to head for home so I could use my wife's find the phone and uh, I looked down and there it was so wow anyways the object here is to go as slow as I can to get to this blacktop and then I'll hit it and then I'll pedal on the first run Ready, set, go. Twenty-three, twenty-four. 
Yeah, this Filoto is a pretty good hill climber. 20 it's saying right now. So that's pretty good. Plus I got that extra battery on the back, so that adds a lot more weight. All right, there's the first run. Go back down. Uh, then the next run we'll do, we'll do throttle only. And then in order to do just the one motor, I'll have to pedal and not use the throttle because there's no way to turn off the front motor on this. Unless you unplug it. Okay, we'll do the same as we did the last time, except this time it'll be all throttle and no pedal. All throttle and no pedal. Five, four, three, two, one. All throttle, no pedal. 23, 24, 22, 20, 18, 17. I think the GPS is probably a little more accurate than the speedometer is on this, but. All right, that was all throttle. All throttle and no pedal. Turn my headlight off. There we go. You can see all the stuff in the road here from the wind. I'll start out one gear down because I changed my freewheel and if I go down one gear that'll make it like it is like it was for stock. So let's do that. Yeah, in fact, let's go down a few so I can get a good start here. Ready, set. Go. Okay, no throttle at all, so this is just one motor. We'll keep it at this nice pace here so we have a chance to make it up here. See, that extra motor really adds a lot. So if you have the H7, this is probably about how fast you'd make it up this hill. And you can see from the stats that this is a pretty steep hill. I don't think I could ride up this hill on a regular bike. But fortunate for me, this is not a regular bike. to work for that one. Had to work for that one.
beautiful day today, other than the wind. About 62, I think. So, I shed a lot of my uh, winter clothes. I usually wear two pairs of pants, and when it gets really cold, I wear a pair of long johns underneath that all. But today, I'm just rode my tent, where I'm riding with my tennis shoes. <laughs> it feels kind of weird, I feel naked. <laughs> But I looked, I still, I have my pants on, so, so I'm not going to get arrested. Oh, this is a really nice little area down here. It, uh, there's, there is no houses down here. When it rains, it really comes down, all ends up right down here, and it overflows the roads. And So this is mostly like a hunting area. There's a little uh, nature preserve back here that they use for research. Technically, you're not supposed to be back there, I don't think, unless you, unless you have permission from the, the, the college. Yeah, it's something, a family gives something to the state to uh, have it preserved and then the state gives it to a, a college, and then the, the pu public never sees it again. Of course, there, isn't, there is a lot of snakes back there, but you know, still, I'm sure there's people who want to go back there and, and fish and do things like that. I noticed last time I was back there, they had a camera. They had a camera on the dock. That's that swampy area I went back I was riding in the woods and all of a sudden I came upon a dock and it was really weird it's a really beautiful area but I guess you're not really supposed to be back there so yeah, let's see how fast we can get up this hill this time yep this this float was a pretty good hill climber when you're using all-wheel drive. I got, I got down to 19, 18.9. So yeah. Which one is the hill climbing king? I don't know. It's going to be between this one and the e biko I think. We shall see. Bum, bum, bum. Ah, oh, yeah, this is nice. Spring is in the air, I can feel it. Can't wait. You know, maybe Papa get a new bike. What would you think about that if Papa had his eye on a bike? <laughs> Stay tuned. You can see that flag there. How bad it's blowing at the church there. It's really windy up here. Hey, puppy, you haven't chased me for a while. Heard me talking. <laughs> Yusuf chased me really bad, but then he stopped. But he heard me talking. He thought, oh, he'll chase me one more time for good measure. Woo, the wind's strong. If that audio picks up in this, I shouldn't even have to mention it anymore. <laughs> because it means it really takes it up. You can see up there ahead that flag. See how bad it's blowing in the wind. Look at that flag. Just standing out straight there. Too bad we couldn't say that for America, huh? It's a whole different country than what it was when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> 